What's going on everyone? This is Gunsnipe and welcome to another reveal and customization video here on my channel. In this video we're going to be looking at the final initial vehicles added into online from the Doomsday Heist and that is the Vapid Riata. You can get this vehicle on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website and it goes for about $380,000. When you think of a concept car, you probably think of some nitrous charge bobble with funky aerodynamics and a silly name. But there are other concepts to choose from. Bone splittering torque, for example, or turning the natural world to a ravaged pulp beneath your giant reinforced tires. And, th and when those are the concepts you're after, you buy American, you buy Vapid, and you buy the Riata. And of course, there's the stats in the car itself, so... We're gonna go take this car into the Los Angeles Customs, do the customization work, and all that stuff. So, let's not waste any more time and drive this bad boy into LSC and see what we got for it. Here for the magic touch. Give me one second. Okay, 4750 for it's. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna repair because we did some damage to it. Um, stock sale price is two hundred twenty-eight thousand. In case y'all wanna know, and we got twenty-two categories. So let's look into them. Okay, so armor fifty thousand, given. Brakes thirty-five thousand. Bumpers front and rear. Okay, we got a bull bar, stock crawler, primary crawler, secondary crawler. Stock Ram Bar, Primary, Secondary, uh, uh, Bull Bar 2, Primary, and Secondary Colors, and this one's the most expensive at 15700 Um, yeah, we'll go with this one. Rear Bumpers, we got another Bull Bar, and Primary, Secondary, and this one is 11 7 and to match the front and back, we'll get this one. Engine, 33.5. Exhaust. Okay, we got titanium. Where is the exhaust at? Okay. Okay, we got titanium, carbon, and aluminum exhaust. And this one's 3,000, which we'll add. Okay, explosives don't count. Okay, we got a retro grill and a classic grill for 13.40. Um, I don't believe those lights work, so we'll just add this one. Hood, okay, we got bud deflector, primary and secondary, a USA bug deflector, a primary vented hood, a secondary vented, vented two, vented, vin, uh, in a vented hood, uh, vented hood two, and this one is the most expensive at 12.4. Um, my Erica. <laughs> Okay, horn, 90,000 for that. Lights, headlights, 7,500 for xenon. Oh, sh hang on. I kind of overdid it. Uh, 7,500. Okay. Neon layout, 30,000. Uh, it's going to be real subtle. I, if you want to add it, go ahead. Um, I think I'm not going to add it because the, the height of this vehicle just makes it too subtle to notice. So, we'll leave it at that. Okay, we got liveries here. We got a center stripe, double stripe, double blue stripe, and double stripe in a made in America, made in the USA sh uh, livery. Uh, Shrewberry Hunter, Don Camo, Woodland Camo, Redwood, Patriot, Beer. Space Cadet. Ooh, that's a new one. Uh, and the Space Cadet's the uh, most expensive at twenty-five six <laughs> I'm kind of torn. I mean, on one hand, it does have the flag and it has the Space Cadet stuff on it. But on the other hand, their space rocket is shaped like a, a, a male part. So... Um... We'll go with this one. The Made in the USA. And it has a Vapid logo on it. So we'll go with that one. Lost out. That's included. Plate. 
as always, 600 for just a color, but a hundred thousand. But uh, but if you do the iFruit app, it's, an, it's an, like a hundred thousand, six hundred, something like that. So, okay, respray. We got primary, secondary, and crew, and of course, fifty thousand for the pure gold metal uh, as primary, and twenty-five thousand for the same one as secondary. Um. Let's see, what can we do here? A metallic. Uh, let me see. Where's a white color? Let's see how this matches with the, with the livery. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with this. And crew, meaning the secondary. Yeah, uh. Let me see, metallic. Yeah, we'll go with white on white. Um, roof, we got a cab, which kind of adds a little more to the livery. We got a secondary cab, bars, chrome bars, primary and secondary bars too, and primary and secondary, and and a roof rack. Ooh, that's that's nice. And that one's the most expensive at fifty fifty. Um. We're gonna go with the prime. The sec. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna go with the secondary crew ca uh, cap here. Add a cap top on it. Um, sell? No. Skirts? You see, we got. Uh, slat skirts. We got chrome and primary and secondary. Um, just to even out the color of the car, we're gonna go. We're just gonna go with the chrome here. At 8,000. Oh, wait. Mine is at 8,000. Hang on. Uh, but the most expensive one is the 14,000 right here. So, we're gonna go with this one. Um, suspension. 4,400. But still gives us plenty of space. Uh, transmission. 40,000. Turbo. 50,000. Wheels, since this is an off-roader, we're gonna go with the off-road stock chrome rims, and of course the uh, Challenger rims are 76, 85. Um, we're gonna go with the nah, the five stars. I mean, the five stars are nice for some vehicles, but. I think we're gonna go with the Nevis here. Um, tire, tire design is five thousand. If you want that, tire enhancements twenty-five thousand. Tire smoke another twenty-five thousand. If you want to add that, and we in windows will give it the limo look for five thousand. So when it's all said and done, when you have the vehicle fully customized for it, you know, with the most expensive stuff, you're looking at $640,925 for it. And of course, if I were to sell it, I would get $416,122 for the work, for the vehicle. So let's look at what we got. Now this thing just screams America, and that light bar up top just makes it lights up everything. Now this is also a budget uh, monster truck if you want to go that far. If you don't want to have to worry about buying like the uh, the patriotic uh, monster truck and stuff. But this thing, I kind of like it. I mean, especially with the made in the USA uh, livery on it. It looks nice, but it is a bit top heavy. I mean, even with the drop down suspension. So you want to take corners, you want to take turns a little gingerly, or do a turn before you go into it. So, I mean, this is a nice truck. 
if you want to get it, if you want something other than the uh, Dubs 6x6 or any of the others, I say pick this one up. So, uh, that's it for this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. As always, please drop a like, subscribe, comment, rate, share, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when I upload more videos like this. So, with that being said, again, thank you so much for watching. Take care. And I will see you all in the next video.